Hi everyone and welcome. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Sarah and I'll be guiding you here for your practice today. And the class is called Rise and Shine. So it's a nice class that you might like to do in the morning to start your day, but of course it can be done at any time. If for any reason there's any pose that doesn't align with you, doesn't feel right for you, just park it, feel free to. This is your practice, your exploration. So if there's any poses that you don't want to do, you don't have to do them. They're all invitational, everything is always optional. So, when you're ready, we're all going to meet down on the mat. Coming to find yourself all the way down. And planting the feet, allowing the knees to be bent, taking the legs about hip width apart if that feels comfortable for you. Taking a round of inhale and exhale here. On your next breath, drawing the right knee in towards the chest, interlacing the hands around the front of the shin. Coming to extend that left leg long down the mat. And just giving the right leg a little squeeze in towards the body. Maybe you want to circle out through the ankle. If you're doing that, go in one way and then go in the other way. And coming to extend the right arm out beside you, maybe your cactus in or taking the arm just full length to the shoulder to shoulder height. Allowing the left hand to cradle the right knee. And then on your next breath, we're going to draw the right knee across the left side of the body for a supine spinal twist. Now the gaze can be up towards the ceiling or you can take the gaze if there's no neck issues down the right arm. We're still maintaining the upper back towards the mat. Maybe you want to take some movement here coming in and out. Or maybe you're finding stillness. And breathing into the twist. Into the rib cage, to the back. And then drawing the knee back through centre, interlacing the hands back around, front, around the front of the shin. And then coming to bend the left knee, planting the left foot. Releasing the grip from the front of the right knee, come to extend that right leg up towards the sky, drawing the toes towards the face, and flexing the foot towards the body as the heel projects up towards the sky. And then on your next breath, we're going to lower that right leg just so that it's coming up to roughly about where the left knee is. And then coming back towards the body. And we're just going to take that two more times while still trying to maintain your lower back down towards the mat. And on your final round, we're then going to pulse the leg towards the face. Beautiful come to bend the right knee, plant the foot back down onto the, towards the mat and allow it to come and join the left leg. Then on your next breath, coming to draw the left knee in towards the chest, come to interlace the hands around the front of the shin, give a little squeeze in towards the body. Taking a round of breath and then coming to extend that right leg long down the mat. Taking the left arm out to shoulder height beside you. And then cradling the, the left knee into the right hand, drawing the left knee across the right side of the body for a supine spinal twist. Once again, maintaining the upper back towards the mat. If it is peeling off the mat, maybe not going so deep in towards the twist. Just going to explore here and, and notice where that twist feels good for you, but you're still able to maintain stability through the upper back. And on the next and exhale, coming out, coming through center, drawing the knee back in towards the chest, interlacing the hands back through the front of the left shin. And then coming to bend through that right knee, planting the right foot on towards the mat, and extending the left leg up towards the sky. Drawing the toes towards the face, sending that left heel up towards the sky. And then coming to slowly lower the left leg so that it's in line with the right knee. Drawing it back up. And taking two more rounds like so in your breath. Still maintaining the lower back towards the mat. I'm not forgetting to breathe. And then on a final round, we're going to pulse the leg towards the face for a few rounds. 
Beautiful. Then come to bend through the left knee, plant the left foot down towards the mat. And we're coming up next, we're transitioning, coming up. So there's a couple of ways you can either just come up to find your seat, however feels right for you, or you can bring the hands behind the back of the thighs, find some momentum, lift the hips, rocking the spine up and down the mat till you come to find yourself onto your seat bones. Once you've come to find your seat, there's variations. You can come to either sit over the tops of the heels or maybe you're coming to cross the legs. And once you've found your setup, come to tune into the breath, taking a round of inhale and exhale. Bring your awareness to the breath. And then bringing the hands beside the body, outside the, the hips. Taking a round of breath as we lift the right arm up towards the sky, fingertips are reaching up. And then planting the left hand down towards the mat, palm so it's down on the mat, coming to bend through that left elbow. As you do so, we're going to stretch the right hands over towards the left side of the room. So we're looking to find a stretch that comes from maybe around the armpit, going down the rib cage to the side of the body, maybe even a little bit into the hip and then alternate into, to the, towards the other side. So come in to plant the right hand down. As you do so, the left hand reaches up towards the ceiling, bending into that right elbow as we send the left arm across to the right side of the room. Really friend is some activity in the fingers here, stretching them away from you, but still grounding down equally through both hips, through both sit bones. And then just moving with your own rhythm moving from side to side. Maybe you're using the breath to guide you over to each side. Maybe you're turning and taking your gaze with you as you come over to each side. Maybe it's down towards the mat, or maybe it's up towards the ceiling. And then taking one more round on each side before coming back through centre. There is no rush taking your time. Once you've found your way back through centre, bring the hands once again outside the hips. And then allow them to circle up around the outside of the body as they draw up towards the scene and the palms might meet. And as they draw down through heart centre, going to take the right hand to left knee, bring the left hand back behind you, and the gaze might follow as we come to find a seated twist. And then drawing the hands back up towards the sky as they, potentially the palms might meet as they draw down through heart center, then taking the left hand to right knee, bringing the right hand back behind you as your gaze comes to follow, maybe over the shoulder, and just taking two more rounds like so. Coming to find your rhythm here. Using the breath to help guide you in towards the twist. Beautiful. And then when you've done your final round, coming back through centre. Coming to maybe close down the eyes, take a round of inhale and exhale. And coming to open up the eyes if you've taken that option. And to find yourself into a tabletop. So we're bringing knees underneath the hips, hands underneath the shoulders or thereabouts. Come to find a neutral spine, whatever that might feel like for you. And then on your next breath, come to bring the left knee in towards the center. So this is gonna act as an anchor. You might even like to tuck the toes here. On your next breath, we're coming to bring the knee, the right knee up so it's roughly in line with the, with, with the hip. So we're thinking fire hydrant. And bringing the knee back down. Then we're going to bring it back up and then this time take some little circles out through the hip. Once you've gone one way, going the other way. And then coming to extend 
that right leg so it's still hovering in the air so we're extending the right leg so that the whole leg is now hovering about hip height come to place the foot down and then walk the hands towards the body as we slowly come up so we're finding ourselves into gate pose so the right leg is extended out and we're kneeling onto the left then on your next breath coming to send the right left arm up towards the sky right hand might be held um, might be positioned onto the right leg as we then come to lean over towards the right side stretching the fingertips to the right top corner maybe of your wall finding that stretch down the left side here and coming back up through center maybe bringing both hands as they draw down through heart center we're going to fold bringing the hands down to the mat then on your next breath we're going to draw the hips back towards the heel as they do so those right toes are going to come up towards the sky and then coming forward so we're coming into a variation of tabletop with the leg extended as we send our hips back to like a version of child's pose almost, the toes are coming back up towards the sky. And just take in one more round like that. Beautiful. And slowly coming to walk that, bring that right leg back in to join the left leg as we come over to the, towards the left side this time. Coming back into your tabletop, bringing the knees underneath the hips, and then start to bring that right knee in towards the center to act as a kickstand, as an anchor. Maybe you tuck the toes. And coming to, coming to send the left knee to hover so that it's coming up to the to hip height roughly. And then bringing it back down towards the ground, back down towards the earth. And then bringing it back up again. And this time we're going to take some hip circles. So circling out through the hip here. And once you've gone one way, go the other way. And then on your final round, come to extend that leg, flex the toes towards the face, and then come to plant the foot down towards the mat. Walk the hands in towards the body as you slowly start to come up to rise. Maybe you untuck the toes. So we're in this variation of gate pose. Left leg is extended out to the side when kneeling on the right. Coming to send the hands up towards the sky. The left hand comes down towards the left leg as we then reach the right hand over towards the left side of the room. Finding that stretch down the right side of the body. Taking a round of breath here. Allow the breath to guide you back out. Bring the hands back up towards the sky. And then the palms might meet as they draw down through heart center, come to fold. And we're going to bring the hands back down towards the mat. On your next breath, coming to draw the hips back towards the heels as you do so, toes might lift. And you might not come all the way back necessarily. Coming back up, toes come to place back down on towards the mat. Coming back into this variation of tabletop. And then as you draw back to a variation of child's pose, the toes come to lift towards the ceiling again. Just bring in some movement into the hip socket area here to the inner groin taking one more round and as you come back up for this variation of tabletop coming to bring the left knee back in to meet the right knee once you've found your way into tabletop taking the hands about a handprint ahead of the shoulders coming to tuck the toes and slowly start to send the hips back towards the heels as you do so. Come to hover the knees and lift the hips up and back for down dog. Maybe there's a nice generous bend in the knees here. And gazes coming towards the back of the room through the legs. Taking a round of breath. On your next breath, coming to tiptoe your way towards the top of the mat, finding yourself in forward fold. That might be elbows towards the thighs, fingertips to the mat or maybe palms to the mat taking your variation if you work with blocks maybe you're using blocks here allowing the head and neck to hang heavy and on your next breath coming up to rise chin is tucked in towards the chest allow the hands to hang heavy for ragdoll as you come up chin in towards the chest still hands sweep out 
As they circle around the body, chin comes up, palms might meet as they then draw down through heart center. Bring the hands up towards the side of the body for a round of breath in Tadasana, Mountain Pose. Taking a moment to root down into the feet, feeling each point connect to the earth beneath you. The big toe, the little toe, the heel. And then on your next breath, circling the hands back up towards the sky. If the palms meet, draw them down through heart center and then bend the knees, folding over the tops of the thighs. Bring the hands towards the shins, flat back for halfway lift. And coming to frame the feet, stepping the right foot back and then the left foot. Come to place the knees down towards the mat, untuck the toes and lower yourself all the way down. And then bring the hands beside the rib cage if they're not already, drawing the elbows energetically in towards the body, firming down through the tops of the feet. On your next breath, come to lift the head, lift the chest of baby cobra. And then coming back down. Coming to place the arms so that they're cactus in on towards the floor and turning the gaze over towards the right as we then bring the left, the right knee, sorry, up towards the right elbow. So we're cactusing the right leg as well here. Taking a round of breath. On your next breath, drawing the right knee back down, extending the leg long, and then coming to turn your gaze over towards the left side, and then drawing the left knee, bending the left knee, bringing the left leg up towards the left elbow. And taking a round of breath here. And then drawing that leg back down the mat, bringing that forehead back down, bringing the hands beside the rib cage, and coming to push a firm in towards the hands as you come up through tabletop. Coming to tuck the toes, Lift the hips up and back for downward facing dog. Taking a round of breath here. On your next breath, walking your hands towards the back of the mat, coming to find yourself in a forward fold. Taking one round of breath here. And then on your next breath, coming up to rise, allow the arms to circle out wide. Bring the hands up above as the hands come to the head, uh, to above the head. Take hold of the right wrist with the left hand. Then come to reach over towards the left side. Once again, stretching through that left side of the right body. Coming back through centre, taking hold of the left wrist with the right hand and coming to lean over towards the right side. Sending the hips over towards the left. Coming to stretch through the left side of the body. And then coming back through center, bringing the hands to meet, then drawing them down through heart center, and bringing the hands beside the body. And coming to find Tadasana. And taking a few rounds of breath here, maybe closing down the eyes, coming to tune into the body, Notice what there is to notice, if there is anything to notice. Has the breath changed? Has the temperature changed? And then coming to bring the hands back to heart center. And that is the end of our Rise and Shine practice here today. Thank you so much for joining me and allowing me to guide you for your practice here today. Um, I hope that you enjoyed. Any questions, feel free to put something down in the comments. Other than that, have a great day or a great evening. Bye.